Hi there, this is Mark Gupp from Keller Williams Realty, and I'm standing in front of 14 Higgins Lane in South Portland, just a short three minute walk to Hinkley Park and not even a five minute drive to Mill Creek and a seven minute drive right into Portland. So I think you're gonna love this house. It's on a quiet cul-de-sac. The neighbors are mowing their backyard. That's as noisy as you're gonna get. Um, and it is a traditional style on the outside and very, cool and hip on the inside. Let's go take a look. As I come in, what every house in Maine needs is a mudroom. So you've got a nice rack here for some coats and boots. And immediately to this side, you've got an oversized two car garage. So we're not gonna go in there. You gotta come to one of the open houses or set up a showing uh, to look at that. And as I come right inside here, you've got a great, super spacious kitchen. Again, more storage in here for coats and knapsacks and that sort of thing. Um, and then as we, there's a ton of storage space, another closet here, lots of storage space here, wonderful catch-all area. And you have in this kitchen, what I like is you have two kitchen islands with some very interesting concrete countertops some stainless countertops, a built-in sink, huge stove, two dishwashers, a second sink overlooking the backyard, wonderful windows. There's great natural light in this house. Uh, you can see it in the video and you can totally see it in person. Uh, right off the kitchen, I'm gonna take you in here. There's a wonderful great room with cathedral ceilings, uh, beautiful cabinetry all built in, hardwood floors, and then you have a propane fireplace over there. And this leads out to the backyard. And we'll, we'll go there after, uh, but we're gonna walk around the rest of the first floor. You've got this spacious dining room. You could probably fit 15, 20 plus people in here. Uh, you have a wood burning fireplace and some nice built in cabinets. Again, plenty of storage and lots of wall space for artwork. As we walk around into this hallway, this, if you wanted to come into the front door, you know, this is where you would come in, but I think most people are going to come in through that. Uh, side door that I came in. You've got another coat closet in here. Nice, wonderful, lit, naturally lit room. I don't have any lights on in here. This is, this is how it looks, okay? Uh, this at one time was a dining room and living room. So these guys are using it as a home office and a TV room here as well. This, We'll circle back into the kitchen area, which is great. But before that, I want you to look at this nice bathroom. I think you're gonna love the walls and ceiling painted the same color. And this will take you out to the backyard as well. And there's a pool out back. We're gonna check out that later. And why don't we head upstairs? So on the second floor, we have three bedrooms, a primary bedroom, and a great bonus room. So the first bedroom over here, again, wonderful light, new carpet, sweet little closet space. Again, the lights are out. I want you to really appreciate all the natural light in here. This room, really cool space. I love the little bunk bed in here. Dressers, again, new carpeting, great natural light. You can see that a baseboard heat here. And we have another bedroom. Again, this faces the backyard. And I gotta say with three kids, this house looks amazing. And you have a full bath here. So very cool floor, 
ceramic flooring, great vanity, and then you have your nice tub surround and then a linen closet as well. And then we'll head right into the primary bedroom. Huge wall here for a king size bed, beautiful artwork, plenty of room for a dresser. And we'll go into the dressing area here. Nice storage shelves. If you have a lot of clothes, this closet is pretty amazing. There's a huge walk-in closet. And this room, well, we'll, I'll let you finish looking over here. You have a bathroom, which is, um, shower's been redone. Got a nice vanity. There's the hot tub is non-functioning. So someone's going to want to get rid of that but there's plenty of space if someone would like to redo this into a really nice primary bathroom, you could easily do that. And really without too much work because the shower and sink are pretty amazing. Just add a nice soaking tub in there and a toilet. Here you've got your laundry, big laundry room, lots of storage, washer and dryer, utility sink, and you have your Bathroom over here. Got a nice shower, three quarter bath here. Classic tile. And this is the great room. Uh, it's currently set up as, you know, there's a bed in here. This is would be a wonderful in-law suite. Someone could uh, have it if they needed a nanny. Maybe this might be a great space for an Airbnb. If you want to just close this um, door over there and at the end of the hallway, so you have your own bath. And then this, these steps lead down to the first floor. So we'll take a walk down these steps and this will take you into the kitchen area. And there's a little pantry down here. So this pantry, great for storage, but if someone did want to change this into their, um, an Airbnb or an in-law, this leads right into the garage. You just get rid of those pantry shelves and it takes you into the garage area. So in the basement, what's really nice is you do have this radiant, you'll see the attachments for the radiant flooring in the kitchen and that great room, uh, which is wonderful. Plenty of storage areas here. Uh, for all your extra stuff. There's also a radon system that's in place and you can see this is a pretty dry basement. Um, we haven't gotten it all cleaned up and nice and tidy and there's another little, not, it's not little, it's a good size storage room right to the right. So it does, that space you'll see does have some sheetrock walls. If someone wanted to use it as an office, they could, but why would you want to do that when you've got such a beautiful space on the um, upstairs above grade? So um, I um, want you the guys that come outside and take a look. I think you're going to love the huge deck they have. It's Trex, um, does not need to get replaced. It's, it's wonderful year round. And um, let's go take a look. So we're outside here, right by the pool. And this is a saltwater gunite pool kidney shape, really a, a wonderful space. You have lovely landscaping back here. I love the natural grass here. I'm thinking maybe I might want to plant some of that at our house. And you've got a great big shed and a fenced in yard. So perfect for any dogs. And you also have this patio. We did do a pre-inspection on this house as well. So please feel free to email your realtor and get a copy of that pre-inspection report. We like to do that on all of our listings. We want to be transparent in everything we do. And 
uh, it's coming on the market this weekend. So showing start at uh, the first open house on Saturday and we're gonna run for a few days. So please be sure to come to one of our open houses Saturday or Sunday or call your realtor if you have a buyer agent. If you don't have a buyer agent, give me a call and I will make sure that we get you in here to take a look. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.